How's it going? Yeah. You like that shit, don't you? How we magically appear like that. Because we're crazy and we're ninjas. But anyway, it's everybody's favorite tag team. I'm Silencer. But that dude over there would be Cryptic Mac. His name is also Tony. That's Jeff. How you doing? Um, today, we are doing yet another Shisha review for you. No way, Jeff. I'll be damned. What a shock. <laughs> Anywho, today we are trying out something that's a little bit different. Um, of course, it's coming from Hookah Freak, because when I say different, I usually mean, what the hell? Like, that's where the flavor motivation comes from. Who would have thought of blueberry pancakes? But, uh, no, today we will be checking out Ambrosia from Hookah Freak. Kind of like, smells like shit and brosia. <laughs> he just took a giant turd in the bathroom and it smells like shit in here. Really? Re I mean, I, I know we share with our viewers, but really? What, was, was that level of sharing really necessary? I yeah, just so you can get shit from the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> ba -dum. Anyway, uh, like I said, we are checking out Ambrosia today. And, very, very, very nice flavor on this one. Uh, to smell it, basically I, I just get a nice, uh, nice blend of, uh, a couple, a nice blend of a couple berries in there, actually. <laughs> and maybe just a hint of a floral scent to it. Um, just a little bit. And it, it, there does smell like it to be a little bit of an alcohol influence in it, but again, consistent with the hookah freaks, it's not as powerful on the alcohol side of it, which is nice, because really, if you're going to be doing something like, you know, an apple martini, for instance, who really wants to taste the pure vodka coming off of the shisha? You want to get a little bit of the influence of the apple. This I like because it's more of a, again, very fruity, with just a little bit of a floral twist to it. It's a very natural, uh, natural smelling shisha, which I kind of like about it. A little bit sugary, though, so it almost kind of has a cookie feel. But um, as far as your cut is concerned, consistent with most of your hookah freaks, it is very, very finely shredded. Um, uh, again, cut down very, very small, so it can be easy to burn. But we're using three coconut coals all the way on the outside edge of the bowl, and once you know how to position them right, you don't run into these problems. You really don't. How you doing back there, Scooter? Mmm, tasty. Yeah, yeah, I sort of figured. As far as how it is smoking... And as he always says, if you haven't been paying attention to me, I mean... <laughs> What, come on, I leave one line out of the act and all of a sudden I'm a bad, bad panda. No, no. Bad anyway. panda. <laughs> Anywho, as far as how it is smoking, uh, the flavor on it is coming off very nice. It, it tastes uh, fruity. I really get a, a nice, like, multi-fruit and, like, kind of a, a stronger taste of uh, orange. I mean, it's not like you know full orange, but it's there. Yeah, I, I, I you, 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 can, you, can, you can almost taste a little bit of orange or a citrus of some kind yeah. as one of the primary flavors. I've been trying since we started getting this stuff going to nail down precisely what it, is, it tastes like. Um, and ordinarily, I'm not at a loss for words, but this one is a little tricky. It's like an amalgamation of, of a lot of different flavors in there. As I said, there's sort of a, of a floral. Uh, twist to it, at least as far as it smells and as far as it tastes right off the smoke. Um, maybe something like a jasmine almost on the undertones of it. Um, but again, your predominant flavors are going to be a nice uh, nice berry mix. Um, I would say something on the darker side of the berries, maybe a blackberry perhaps. Um, but again, that's that's it's difficult to qualify. I know it has a much deeper berry flavor to it, so it's not going to be brighter like your strawberries, your uh, grapes, your um, you know ras red raspberries, things like that. So it has that going for it. It all again has the floral influence, as I said, and again just a slight twist of an alcohol to it, which I think is important to have. Um, but again, it's not that it overpowers the rest of it. All of these things are in balance, which is what matters in this situation. You don't want too much of one and not enough of another. And as Tony said, there's like a citrusy taste yes. going on, sort of. Yes. I mean, I, I know that's a really inspecific way of saying it, but yeah, there's sort of a, a slight citrusy influence to this. And as Hookah Freak goes, plenty of fun clouds. But, uh, yeah. It can have plenty of fun clouds. It all depends on how you get your management down. Yeah. Again, we have three coconuts all the way on the outside of the bowl. What? 
forgive me for wanting to save our save our viewers from getting you know super harsh burned hookah freak taste because believe me you'll know it if you accidentally do it but burned hookah freak is a bad thing very bad thing it hurts but when you learn how to do it right you can get some regular clouds believe it or not i'm not using any ice in the catcher at all these are just the clouds you're getting off of regular water going through a regular hookah and of course no more hoses but you know you can get some nice rippers off of this What is that with you? You've been playing with the bottle every time we do one of these now. I know, because it's fun. Smoking cups and bottles and glasses. It, it's sort of his new thing. Tony likes seeing what different objects he can fill up with smoke and how long it'll stay that way whenever he does so. Leave my candle out of this. Uh, you know it's going to be awesome if we ever do another Halloween video? Because that would, I mean, we would totally be able to rock that. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, um, as far as the number goes with this particular shisha... Um, I like it. There's nothing about this that jumps out to me. There, there's nothing about this that, 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 that has that special characteristic you're used to getting from Hookah Freak. Buy me! I'm a delicious pizza. <laughs> you know what's awesome? There's like four people I can think of on HD that'll get that joke. Yes! But, um, anyway. Uh, again, it, it, it's, not, it, it's not that there's anything above board on this. There, there's, there's... Yeah, there's a little bit of a berry influence, but how many other flavors can you say that about? You it know? has a good taste to it. It does. It's not bad. It, it's not that it tastes like crap. I'm not insinuating that. It's just, it, you know, there's other blends out there that would achieve the exact same effect that we're getting off of this one. And, you know, some of them are more exotic. They're specialized in doing, like, the blackberry flavor, the alcohol flavor, the floral flavors. So there's really no reason to get this one because it's kind of like a... Un unusual mixture of the three. <laughs> That's the point of it, though. Why smoke one kind of flavor when you can have multi-flavor? And I get it. That's the whole point of Hookah Freak. I understand it's blended tobacco, but, you know, at the same time, I, I don't... There's nothing about this one that seems all that unusual. Woo-hoo! Woo! Yeah, they can't see that. Yeah, I know. Um, Tony has this habit where, you know, Captain Ironlong over here sucks the ball bearing out periodically because he literally broke the bracket off inside that holds it in place. So every once in a while he'll suck his ball bearing three quarters of the way down his fucking hose before I, uh, before I realize and start ripping and going, why is no bubbling happening? And then about five minutes later he blows a giant thing of smoke in my face through my own hose, so. <laughs> and it's always fun! But anyway, as far as uh, a number is concerned with the Ambrosia, again, it's not a bad flavor. It's a good flavor. I'd say give it a shot. But, man, you are entirely too nice today. Tony over here apparently has a, uh, what, eight. Yeah, I actually had to count using the camera there for a second. That took a couple of minutes. And secondly, I don't care what the hell the American Sign Language Association says. No one counts to three like this. It's one, two, three. That's how you do it. Not this. <laughs> what is this? But as for me, I've got a five. That's what I think about the stuff. It's good, but there's absolutely nothing special, unique, or otherwise different about this. This is sort of like the average flavor smoke from from Fuka Freak. I, there's nothing really substantially substantially outstanding about it. But um, anyway, that's what I got. I got a five. If you believe this guy, he's got an eight. We actually have a dispute for the first time in one of our reviews. So uh, stay tuned. Because we have more stuff coming. We also have some awesome reviews of some products coming up, including the Heba Diffuser. Much thanks to Jonathan, as always, for getting us this one out to, uh, getting this particular flavor out to us. I am Silencer. That dude over there would be Cryptic Mac. And now, we are going to do our vanishing. Yeah.